Universal Calibration in the OmniSec software. A universal calibration method uses a column calibration to give you true molecular weight that is independent of the standard type. It uses the relationship between hydrodynamic volume, molecular weight, and intrinsic viscosity to show that the calibration curve for polymers of different types can merge into a single calibration curve. Think of it like this. A molecule's retention volume in GPC SEC is based on its molecular size, or hydrodynamic volume, which in turn is determined by a molecule's intrinsic viscosity and molecular weight. Therefore, if molecular weight times intrinsic viscosity is plotted against retention volume, then a single universal calibration curve emerges which includes samples of different types and structures. This video will demonstrate how to set up a universal calibration method in the OmniSec software. To create a universal calibration method, you'll need to analyze a single narrow standard to align and calibrate your concentration and viscometer detectors, as well as a series of narrow standards of known molecular weight to map out your column profile. First, open the data for your single narrow standard. This standard can be part of your series, but it's a good idea to select a standard from the middle of your molecular weight range. Second, create a new method. Name the method and select Universal Calibration as the calibration type. In the Calibration Table section, you can adjust your calibration curve's fit order and the molecular weight values in the table if needed. Move to the Detectors section to indicate whether you will use a refractive index or UV detector as your concentration detector alongside the viscometer. The Analysis Type section allows you to select the source of the DNDC values for the calibration standards and your samples. It is recommended that while generating the calibration curve that the analysis type is set to calculate concentration from sample DNDC. You can then edit the method prior to sample analysis if you do not know your sample's DNDC value. Choose the appropriate calibration standard from the database or use the Add button to input the information for your specific standard. There's no need to change anything on the band broadening section. Simply click Save. If you have limits and baselines already set, your method will automatically be calibrated. Third, to create your calibration curve, you will assign molecular weights to each standard by setting your limits and baselines and then clicking the Add Standards to Calibration Table button. This will open a window where you can enter the peak molecular weight for each standard for which you set limits. You can also enter the molecular weight values for each standard in the sequence. This way, when you click the Add Standards to Calibration Table button, the values will be pre-populated. Continue until you have added the values for each peak in all your standard injections. Be sure to save results each time you click to the next injection. If you have kept a third order fit, your calibration curve will appear once you have added at least four points to your calibration curve. Once your calibration curve is complete, open a sample injection. Ensure that the active method is the most recent iteration of your universal calibration method and set limits and baselines for your sample. Your calculated results will appear. It's that easy. This method can be applied to subsequently acquired data by clicking the Open Method button in the record view, unchecking the filter sequence box, and then searching for and choosing the appropriate method. To access the calibration curve by itself, you can add it to a report through the Report Editor. To recap, the universal calibration process is as follows. Analyze a series of narrow standards. Use a single narrow standard to align and calibrate the detectors. Assign molecular weights to the standard series to build a calibration curve. And apply the calibration curve to an unknown sample. Please contact us with any questions you have regarding your universal calibration. Thank you.